Chris Aarons here with Happy Days, pinned by Steel Pennings. This was a lot that was introduced on the Son and Bills video 1018, whipped by Steel Pennings. And as of so far, no one has picked this lock. There's the bidding. It does work pretty doggone smooth. And uh, show off a little skull head and SP on there for steel pinnings. And uh, see, I just went about 10 minutes picking on it and got nowhere. And uh, I'm gonna try again. Just get a little standard hook here. And uh, see what I can do. I'm gonna try to keep up with how much time I spend on this lot. Because I know steel paintings that really want to know. And uh, I seen it on the Son and Bills video. I said, wow, that would be awesome if I could pick a lock that he couldn't pick. And so I messaged Steel Pennings and see if I could borrow the lock. So he sent it my way. Click on three. We'll click on four. Five. It's hard to get under that number six. Pick wants to stick in it. Five. Okay, there's a couple clicks on six and a little turn on the core. counter on three and my flash just went out battery is low so y'all forgive me I gotta get it Uh, on two there, big turn. One. Another big turn on two. Getting somewhere. Three. Look counter on five. Drop something there. Come on, five. See if it would have dropped. I think it was two. There we go. Two. And open on three. Sweet. Now, I don't have a clue how much battery I got left. Sweet. And it is open. All right. That is awesome. Good lock, steel pennies. That was very fun, challenging lock. Forgive me, my friend. I got to be quick because oop, I don't want to lose this. My battery's low. I got to be moving on. All right, let's see. 
Oh, I made it. I was hoping I would make it. I'm not using a shim. It's really going to get me one of these days. Come on. Focus. Really? Come on, camera. There we go. There is the pins all in there and working. Let's see what's on the top side. Zoom it back out here. So we got, got an ASA pin. Oops. Went that way. Oh, don't do that. Alright, that look like a double spring. We've got a pin and pin in there. Right, we'll come back on number three. Get that spring out of there. Boop, boop, boop. That way. See it in there. There it is. Looks a little bent. That spring here is a little bent up. Come on, spring. Get in there. Alright, there we go. Now, let's take a look at the core populated. So with that, pin and pin. Whoop. All right, there we go. Core populated. That's what we're looking at. There we go. Everything well below shear line. Got this. I think that's a pin and pin, it looks like. A little nub on there. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, no. Oh no, I'll find that in a second. Alright, there's a pin and pin. This is going to be a terrible gutting. Sorry, steel. And this acid pin here. Alright. Dump these out. Look like all standard. Come find this. That's not it. Give me a flashlight. There it is. Alright. I found it still. Okay. It was right there. Alright. Let's look at the plug. This gutting is going terrible. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Man, the light's out. There we go. All right, we got some threading in one. Two. Six, some undercut in two and, or a three. 
Yep. Undercut in three and five. Let's see. Down here. All right. Look like some undercutting in six. That's going to be it in the Bible. Let me zoom in here. All right, so we got standard pins, key pins in all six chambers. Number one had the ASA with a copper spring. Number two had this. Uh, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. Okay. Had this. Beautifully serrated with the smaller diameter end on there. Alright, that was number one, just the acid barrel spool. Number three was this beautiful serrated pin and pin, and the pin is serrated as well, which made for a little t-pin number four is a just a sliced up not quite serrated but just notches in there kind of like a meat tenderizer there number five we have this very sharp uh, spool and number six is is not a pin and pin that's a beautiful little lightly serrated with this little notch on the end there we go Alright, and the spring was number one brass. You had a double spring and two. I'm so sorry. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. Three was a brass bent spring. Four was a long spring. Five was a short brass. And six looks like a steel spring. So, sorry about the gutting looking like junk. <laughs> the lot looks beautiful though. Uh, thank you, Steel Pennings, for letting me have a shot at Happy Days. I will put my name as first on the list. That's exciting. Man, that is exciting. I don't know if I showed this off. That skull with the SP. That is really cool. Got the smiley face on the back. What's it say? Something made. I can't tell what that says. But thank you so much, Steel Pennings. Uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, y'all be legal. God bless.